the dark secret of the world's tallest mountain. Hello everybody, I am Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-5140, Everest. Before I begin, if you're enjoying these narrations, then please consider liking the video and maybe subscribe. With that out of the way, let's begin. Item number SCP-5140, Level 4, Secret, Containment Class, Keter. Disruption Class, Eki. Risk Class, Critical. Special Containment Procedures Due to the exorbitant cost and difficulty in safely extracting SCP-5140 instances for Mount Everest, Mobile Task Force Delta-14, Winter Wonderland, will periodically ascend Everest to bury any SCP-5140 instances in the snow. Campaigns are underway to tighten restrictions for climbing permits for Mount Everest on both the Nepalese and Tibetan sides. Description: SCP-5140 refers to a number of frozen corpses scattered across Mount Everest, located in the Himalayas of Tibet. The number of SCP-5140 instances is unclear, but accepted to be over 100 and below 200 at the time of writing. SCP-5140 instances are ectoentropic. When physically exposed to heat of any form, including body heat, they will absorb it without raising their temperature, which rests at approximately 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This process usually renders physical contact with SCP-5140 instances fatal. If an individual dies as a result of contact with SCP-5140 instances, their corpse will become another SCP-5140 instance. Addendum 5140-1 Mission Record November 12, 2015 To Base Camp from MTF Delta-14 Status Update Approaching Summit Encountered 34 bodies across Chinese route Buried all Provision steady Likely to reach summit tomorrow To MTF Delta-14 From Base Camp Acknowledged. Continue. To base camp from MTF Delta-14. Encountering minor anomaly on instances. Exceptionally low temperatures result in muscle contractions post-mortem. Bodies curled up and frozen. Hard to pry open before burial. Might have to bury like that. To MTF Delta-14 from base camp. Acknowledged. Permission granted. Bury as convenient. To base camp from MTF Delta-14. Approaching summit. Abnormally high numbers of instances. Encountered 19 since yesterday. Old instances getting unburied? To MTF Delta-14 from base camp. Likely. Strong winds blowing off snow. Bury deeper if possible. To base camp from MTF Delta-14. Approached Hillary Step this morning. Will ascend to summit an hour or two. 14 more bodies since last contact. Team unnerved. To MTF Delta-14 from base camp. Understandable. Almost there now. To base camp from MTF Delta-14. Discovered lone body on summit. Attempted to bury. Shovel hit something. It's stuck. Can't pull it out. Turned around. Body was gone. Fell off the summit? Don't know. Team is rattled. Please advise. To MTF Delta-14 from base camp. Acknowledged. Sending out survey teams. Attempting to see if something was seen falling from summit. Use spare shovel. If more bodies are encountered, orders are to descend from Chinese route using already cleared path. Godspeed. To base camp from MTF Delta-14. Descended step. Patrick touched one. Me and Arnold buried him. To MTF Delta-14 from base camp. Acknowledged. To base camp from MTF Delta-14. Emergency. Attempted to descend Chinese route. Discovered camp remains torn apart. Three instances curled up in tent. Instances moving? Hurried descent. To MTF Delta-14 from base camp. Acknowledged. Get down safely. We'll move forward from there. Personnel ready to receive you at Camp V. Stay safe. To base camp from MTF Delta-14. Mass of them blocking the path. One reached out from ground. Grabbed Arnold. He's one of them. I ran back up. 
Can't go down. Can't go back up. Arnold was carrying provisions. Only have one can of oxygen left. Help. To MTF Delta-14 from base camp. Attempt to use flare gun to clear path. Stay at safe distance. Team is already en route to extract you. Stay calm. Minimize breathing. To base camp from MTF Delta-14. They're moving. Don't come to the summit. It's not safe. The ground isn't safe. Don't let climbers on Everest. The mountain is danger. To MTF Delta-14 from base camp. Team is arriving in less than two hours. Hold steady. A rescue detachment of MTF Delta-14 arrived at Charlie Smith's GPS tracker an hour and 36 minutes later. They sighted no unburied SCP-5140 instances on their approach. Smith's body was discovered, lacking the signs typical of an SCP-5140 instance. Autopsy indicates he died from exposure and suffocation due to inadequate oxygen intake. Further investigation indicated his oxygen intake valve was damaged during the ascent to the summit. Bodies of Arnold Hillary and Patrick Edmund were discovered higher up Everest. Hillary died from exposure, while Edmund was found to be an SCP-5140 instance. It is currently believed that Smith's inadequate oxygen led him to hallucinating SCP-5140 instances blocking their path and destroying their campsite. Hillary's foot was found wedged into a rockfall, likely the source of his immobility. This incident has been taken into account and supply manifests for future expeditions adjusted accordingly. Addendum 5142 File Update April 25th, 2024 Event Report Location, Mount Everest, Nepal Status, Concluded Time, 1.49 p.m. Local Time, April 25th, 2024 Disruption Class, Kenek Event Summary Increased global temperatures have resulted in significant thawing of ice sheets and snowdrifts on Everest. Such thawing caused a large avalanche at 11.49 local time, which moved a large amount of snow off the summit. Lower depth of snow allowed scanning planes to identify significant amount of SCP-5140 instances below the snow. Further excavation revealed SCP-5140 instances form a significant portion of Everest itself. Currently, it is estimated 45% of Mount Everest's mass is formed by corpses. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed this entry, then please lend your support by liking and subscribing. I also started streaming some nights on Twitch, so if you feel like dropping by and saying hi, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also, if there are any other SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.